boot insoles or work boot insoles and what do we look for when we're trying to select the perfect orthotic insole for a work boot so we often get patients coming to the clinic that are working on construction and they have aching tired legs and sore feet uh, and they're up to something that can help to improve their, the pain in their feet and legs um, so often what we do is we suggest a great work boot and then we put an orthotic insole for a work boot inside the work boot uh, and the things we look for is we want to cushion the foot and support the foot because when we support the foot the foot will work less so that so for example the muscles that try and control the foot from rolling out and rolling in you can imagine if we're working walking across particularly rough gravel or sand our feet are moving around a lot more on on the job site so what happens is the muscles that try and stabilize this this foot to make it an effective lever to walk on um, they work a lot harder so it's almost like for those who do crossfit or anything like that uh, it's almost like your feet are doing a plant the entire day when you're walking on an uneven surface uh, and they can do that for an hour or two hours but then day in day out 10 hours a day walking across these job sites the feet get very tired and very tight uh, and they start to ache so what we try and do is we put an orthotic inner sole like this one here into the work boot so it will support the arch on the inside and then we've got this little lateral arch support as well because there's an arch to the inside of your foot if we take a look at our foot model everyone knows that they've got this arch down the inside of the foot but if we look to the outside you've also got this little arch down the outside and it will actually uh, when your foot stands on the ground actually collapse a little bit so what we try and do is support the arch to the inside of the foot and we also support the arch on the outside of the foot. So what this does, it makes the orthotic almost stop the foot from rolling in too far, but then it stops it from rolling out too far as well. So when we're walking across uneven ground, our foot will move less, so the muscles won't have to control the foot as, as much, uh, and they'll be less overworked and they'll ache less towards the end of the day, end of the week, end of the year. Um, so what it does, if you think of it like the orthotic in the cell holds the, the foot within normal movements, uh, like train tracks hold the train on the train tracks um, so it doesn't roll in too far and doesn't roll out too far it also has these cushioning positions which help to cushion the foot which just make it a lot more comfortable across the work day um, because a lot of the work boots that we go into are very hard and very rigid um, because they're made to protect the feet but not a lot of thought's been put into the work boot companies by making the feet more comfortable so by <coughs> excuse me, adding a um, a soft supportive orthotic inner sole to the work boot will help to make the boot a, a lot more comfortable across the work day so that's the ergonics ultra soft that we added into the work boots now it also helps if you start with a fantastic work boot so we need to start with a work boot that will cushion and support your feet so something that's podiatry association recommended would be helpful um, and then we add a, a soft orthotic inner sole in to make the boot more comfortable so i hope this helps out with your feet and leg pains the other things we do in the clinic to help with feet and leg pains are, is we stretch out your calves, we get you to loosen off the muscles in, in your feet so they're very, very tight. So getting a massage on your feet and legs will help as well. Uh, and also stretching and warming up before work will help a lot. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do and it really does help us out. If you need further information on the topics discussed, please follow the links in the description and that will take you to our website where we've got more information on these topics. If you have a specific question that you'd like to ask, please comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to make a video to address your question. If you have any further comments or questions, you can find us at ergonics.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.